gold starting to hit these support levels. What's the word out there? Sure. So you have a couple factors that are supporting gold right now. You have um, economic surprises are starting to roll over and go into negative territory. Um, you have the dollar starting to hit some resistance levels that you saw back in mid-2012. And then you've had the announcements from Japan, how they're doubling their balance sheet. Um, the U.S. is still on the same kind of track with easy monetary policy. So all those kind of factors right now are still kind of filtering into, you know, layering into support for gold. Kyle, you going for gold? Yeah, you know, um, we've, we've always had a position in gold. When you think about the largest central banks in the world, they've all moved to an unlimited printing uh, ideology, right? Monetary policy happens to be the only game in town. I'm, I'm perplexed as to why gold is as low as it is, but um, I don't have a great answer for you other than you should maintain a position. George Soros told the China Morning Post either last night or the night before that he'd lost interest in gold because it, it proved in the most recent... Uh, I believe Cyprus episode of the European crisis not to be uh, not to perform the way that he anticipated mm. and as a result it's sort of lost its luster for him yeah well George has been a much better investor than I over the years but um, I would he's been at it for longer yeah yeah <laughs> and I I think that um, I think that it look when you think about the global monetary base uh, as Andrew just alluded to the global monetary base you know is north of 70 trillion all the gold in existence is around seven or eight trillion there might be a trillion two trillion three of investable gold uh, you know at some point in time I'd much rather own gold than paper I just don't know when that time is and you feel at all times you just have to have a presence in gold it's just a matter of listen if you're going to be if you're going to be invested across asset classes you simply need to have something there no, I just think they can't print any more of it. You know, they can make, they can mine some more, but they can't print it at the rate the central banks are printing. I just view gold as another currency. It's that simple. I don't view it as a commodity. Andrew, how do you expect gold to trade in, in the weeks and months ahead then? You know, uh, uh, on, on what basis? On the basis that it is going to be viewed once again as a substitute or perhaps even a genuine currency, uh, an inflation hedge, uh, you know, a hedge against uh, systemic risk? Right. I mean, if, if you think about inflation expectations have remained relatively anchored, if you look at five and 10-year break-even spreads, despite the Fed balance sheet expanding to record highs, um, you've had, as I had said before, you have these negative economic surprises filtering in, so the, in, the safe haven trade is kind of maybe coming back into play. From a consensus perspective, the analysts are really looking for a flat gold price over the next couple months, um, even maybe increasing. It's a seasonally stronger period that we're entering for gold right now. If you're thinking way. about gold as a currency and we're in this flight to quality safe haven mode, do you want to own gold rather than U.S. Treasuries? I do. But, you know, if, if, look, if something like happens in Japan like we think it's going to happen, I think U.S. Treasury nominal yields will go negative in a flight to quality. So maybe gold moves up. Treasuries actually get a much stronger for all of the wrong reasons, not as endorsement of U.S. fiscal policy because it's the only place money has to go. But isn't the market doing well across the board for all of the wrong reasons? It's all about central bank intervention. Fundamentally, if you look at the macroeconomic environment, things look horrible. Yeah, I mean, look, if monetary policy is the only game in town, then we're all in for a world of trouble. And, and that's, you know, that's the way we see it.